What is the current through R1? First, we have to find the total current coming out of the battery. We're going to do that by replacing this parallel configuration with its equivalent resistance. And then we have two resistors in parallel. We can then find that equivalent resistance and finally the current. And then we'll turn our eyes over to here. We'll find the voltage drop here subtract that voltage drop from 18, find the voltage drop here, and then we can find the current. So let's do the first part of the problem, pull out answer tab 1. The equivalent resistance of these two resistors is 1 sixth plus 1 third equals 1 half, and that is not the equivalent resistance. We have to invert that, so we get 2. We add 2 plus 4, we get 6 ohms. Current coming out of the battery is 3 amps. We look at the voltage drop over here. The same current that comes out of the battery goes through this resistance, R3. So the voltage drop across R3 is going to be 3 amps times 4 ohms or 12 volts. So we'll push this back up here. We're done with him. And now you can see more clearly why whatever current goes through comes out of the battery splits up here rejoins and goes through R3. So let's erase this and pull out our final answer. We want to find the voltage drop across this configuration. The total voltage is 18. As we just showed, we lost 12 volts here, so that means the voltage drop across R1 and the voltage drop across R2 is going to be 6 volts. So find the current in I1 that would be V1 over R1, or 2 amps. Since we have 2 amps going through here, and we have 3 amps coming in, you can tell right now what's the current going through this bottom resistor. Well, it splits here. 2 goes up here, and 1 amp will go down there.